morning good morning coming to you live from hurricane nicole this morning let's get a quick little uh energize live a little quick connection in hopefully the power holds hopefully the wi-fi holds let me grab some more water I just felt like we hadn't taught. I know we did a quick one on Monday live from, we're just, we're live from all the places, right? Monday was live from Franklin, Tennessee. Was that Monday? Tuesday? Tuesday. I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, a quick energized live, live from Tennessee. Today, a quick connection just because I feel like we're so off schedule and um, later I'll be live because usually Thursday I'm live in my team page, which I'm doing later, of course. So Thursday, a little bit later, I'm going to be live in my team page, but I felt like we just hadn't had a a connection for a while so I wanted to connect and say good morning and say hello and all the things so we're making some energize and as long as the Wi-Fi holds I am going out to the gym and doing a ride with Jennifer Jacobs one of my favorite favorite humans one of my favorite trainers I'm gonna do a ride with her at 7 a.m. kind of get the the blood flowing, and then I have day four of Healthy Obsession, of course, all on Body or Beach Body On Demand Interactive. So that's happening this morning. So I wanted to just do a quick connect with all of you today and um, say hello. How are you? If you're in Florida or anywhere in this um, crazy path of, I mean, enough's enough, right? Like enough with this hurricane stuff. Oh. There's no climate change. Come on, y'all. Use your brains. You know there is. So we're riding it out today, and then it's going to be raining all day today. The hurricane slash tropical storm is in effect till about 11 a.m., and then it, the rain is supposed to kind of taper off and just be super windy today. So I don't think any of our um, stuff will go back out on outside today. Hopefully that'll be tomorrow. Um, my husband does such an awesome job bringing everything in and then we get everything back out. So, and then tomorrow and Saturday, it's supposed to be lovely. It's supposed to be lovely. So I, that this is what we experienced with the hurricane previous, Hurricane Ian was, I mean, it was pretty bad. And then it's like, it, really washes everything away and the days after are gorgeous it's so interesting it's really interesting so this one's not quite as bad from what we understand as Ian um, this is more this is more of a category one I think when Ian came through it was a category three or four um, this one is a one dwindling to a tropical storm probably what we have going on right now we'll have to watch the news and find out but probably what we have going on right now is a tropical storm rather than an official hurricane here because we are you know a little bit inland but on the coast it was supposed to be a category one so i have not turned on the news i have no idea what's happening out there so but i so appreciate i so appreciate all the good wishes and the good vibes um people are just kind People are kind, and uh, I just really appreciated so many good vibes to get home safely, and so many good vibes to just sort of navigate this whole hurricane situation. I mean, listen, every place has a thing, right? I mean, when we lived in the Midwest, it was tornadoes and then snowstorms, and every place has a thing. I don't know where, where would be some place you could live that didn't have some sort of natural disaster situation. I mean, my daughter's in California, wildfires, and you know, dryness, drought, but wildfires out there, earthquakes out there. Where could you live that would have, that would not have some, so I just don't know that there'd be any place that you can live that doesn't have some sort of natural disaster. Do you know why? Because mother nature and the planet is in charge. We like to think we're in charge. We're not in charge. We're not in charge. Oh, I lived in Pennsylvania for a year and I had um, like 215 inches of snow that year. So sorry about you. You're disqualified. <laughs> you have a thing. It's called snow. <laughs> Let's take a drink of this. Newfoundland, Canada. But you have snow. Yes, Vanessa? You have lots of snow. 
Hi, Susie. Good morning. Hi, Denise. Good morning. Um, but Canada would have snow and cold, right? The Netherlands. But you have, do you have snow? Do you have snow? you have cold? What do you have? Like, I really feel like some every place has maybe Hawaii. But that, I mean, you'd be right out at risk for anything happening out there, tsunamis and, and hurricanes and all the things. I really can't think of any place, Arizona or New Mexico. Do they have tornadoes because of, of the, I mean, there are mountains, but there is some flat, what, it, what fires? Do they have, what's Arizona? <laughs> Here we are talking. Good morning, welcome to Energize Live. Here we talk about natural disasters. <laughs> That's what we talk about. Um, yeah, it, every place is has a, a thing, I think. Um, and maybe if you don't have a natural disaster, there's, you're, you're so secluded or, I, I don't know. I just feel like, feel like every place had, oh, snow could hurt you. It could, it could snow. Y'all, I lived in Pennsylvania for a year. 212 inches of snow, there was a, a week we didn't leave our, home, leave our home. Hello, small children. No, mm -mm. no, that's not cute. That's not cute. Snow absolutely can't hurt you. So not cute. Anyway, natural disasters. How did I like the humidity for your first year in Florida? It didn't bother me one bit. Did not bother me one bit. It's so interesting when we moved here, people are like, oh my God, there's a way, wait till you go through your first summer in Florida. And I thought to myself, have you not lived through a winter in the Midwest? Because it is literally like a gray cement blanket on top of your head. November, December, January, February, March, April, and sometimes May. Six, half of the year in the Midwest, half or more, six to seven months of the year in the Midwest was a gray cement blanket over the top of your head. And you're going to talk to me about some humidity? Like, what? My husband and I both were like, I don't understand what everyone was so crazy about the summer. It was hot. It was humid. Okay. Yes, Denise, that's why we moved. <laughs> that's exactly why we moved. You want to talk about major seasonal affective disorder? Holy shikies. Holy shikies. Mm, Nebraska, tornadoes, snow, floods. Yeah, every place has a thing. They really do. So to answer your question, we did not find the humidity or the heat to be anything we could not handle. And Lindsay, right there. You know, I will take heat and humidity over gray winter all day every day because I need to see the sun I mean even on the days when it was like super hot 90 let's say it's 97 degrees okay awesome well, we have a pool we're very, we don't take that for granted we're very privileged we know we have a pool but even if it was too hot to go in the pool which there really wasn't ever I mean you, you just stayed inside in the afternoon but I could still get outside in the morning I could still be outside in the evening but in the winter in Indiana, there's just no going outside because it was so cold. Um, I, yes, I mean, ev everything is, as far as my mood, my energy levels, my clarity, like all of it, it's just wow, exponentially increased since moving, vitamin D, sunshine, all of it. And so I don't find the summer to be as oppressive as everyone warned us that it would be. And I will take it all day, every day over winter. And I will also tell you at the same time, I'm telling you that, that I got to September and I was like, you know what? I was ready for 87 instead of 97, right? I don't think humans are meant to live in either extreme, but I was ready. I'm like, oh, I'm ready for 87 instead of 97. And next week it's supposed to be like high seventies. I think that's going to be lovely. I think that will be like, it's going to be like 78 or 79. That's going to be amazing. And I'm going to say, I just got to turn off the request to go live. And will be a lovely change. That will be a lovely change. So I, I'm, I'm totally for that. I'm totally for that. But we don't need to get into 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s. We don't need any of that. We don't need any, any, any of that. So, okay. So that's our conversation on natural disasters. Continue to send good vibes as we navigate this. And also, I do want to say that I know that usually what we're experiencing here in the Orlando Central Florida area 
is not nearly as bad as what they are experiencing on the coasts. So send good vibes to the people on the coast. I don't know what's happening out there. I will tell you that um, the Disney Cruise Lines had to recalibrate their itineraries because um, they usually stop at Nassau and then Disney's private island Castaway Key and neither are happening on this particular trip that my daughter is on. Um, they left a little bit late on Monday. They had something happen on the ship and so they left a little bit late on Monday out of Port Canaveral. They have adjusted their itinerary. They are not going to Nassau in the Bahamas and they are not going to Castaway Key, their private island, which is also in the Bahamas. Instead, they went, they have now two days at sea and they went to Mexico. So yesterday she was in Mexico um, just doing her thing in Mexico, Cozumel. And then today would have been Castaway Key, but it's not, it will be just a day at sea because honestly, cruise ship is, is so safe to be on during a hurricane. They just steer themselves away from it. And she was not sure about how it's coming back into Port Canaveral on Friday, if it's gonna be late, how that's gonna happen. So it's all very interesting. I mean, my mom, you know, my, my mom's like 95. And I just said, whatever. And she said, oh my God, I'm so worried about her being out there and out to sea. And I'm like, no, 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 no. On a big ginormous cruise ship is like the safest place you can be because they, they can see where it is and they just steer the other way around it. So they did a big pivot to Cozumel instead of Nassau and Castaway Key. And Chessie was like, some of the guests are really mad. I'm like, the guests are mad because mother nature created a hurricane that even disney can't control like can we can we stop being weird humans can we just stop it you're mad at disney because you couldn't go to nasa and castaway key in a hurricane okay we need to have some more in our life if we are mad about that we 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 have we need some more in our life um, a value if you are mad that the ship had to steer someplace to keep you safe and had to go to someplace else and you're mad you guess we need um you need to have some sessions with a therapist because that's just so silliness so silliness okay a couple things I want to make sure I tell you to my inner circle, to my subscribers. We are definitely doing Energize Live tomorrow. Not sure what time yet, but to my inner circle, to my subscribers, I will also send you a little message later today. We are definitely doing an Energize Live tomorrow. So to my inner circle, to my subscribers, Energize Live tomorrow morning. There's been talk on going through skincare, like what I use for my skincare. Um, and I just ordered a bunch of stuff. It'd be nice if it arrived today. It won't though. I don't think we'll get mail today. Um, anyway, there's been talk of that, but I will message you and I want you to message me what you want to talk about tomorrow. Second, go to the links in my bio and get yourself the discount code. I showed off so many last night on my stories. I will show you what I have right now. Okay, so here's this one that I used this morning. Go get your discount code so that you too, because what I wanna do is um, next week, once people order and they have theirs, I want everyone to do their Energize Live or their first thing or um, something where they take a picture and they tag me because I wanna make I wanna make a reel of everyone either doing their first thing, their Energize or whatever you happen to drink out of it. So. I'm sorry, what? Look at the, the, I mean, it's absolute cuteness. It's absolute cuteness. Look at this. Christmas dogs. Christmas dogs. Run right now to the link in my bio. Get that discount code so you can get the Christmas dogs. Are you kidding me? Hold. Hold. You haven't even seen this one. You have not even seen this one. What? Look at this. Look at, oh, they did. They had the red buffalo plaid. You know what? Beth, here's the thing though. I had... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I already ordered it. <laughs> I forgot about that. So <laughs> I am ridiculous because um, I also have it in cork sickle. I'm just ready. I'm just ready. Um, okay, then I have this. 
Um, yes. You know what? I just took, darn it, I just took this off. Okay, so someone asked me about this. Um, cold for 24 plus hours, hot for three plus hours, and it's 14 ounces. It's 14 ounces. So cold for 24 hours, hot for three plus hours, and it's 14 ounces. Okay, so what else do I have in here? Well, that's boring, but uh, where is my other one? Hold on. You know which one I'm talking about. This is the one that started it all. This is the one that started it all. Oh my God, I love it so much. Um, Cassie, for snowflakes, I got this from Corksicle. Mm-hmm. I got that from Corksicle. But see, do you see this? So this is 12 ounces. These are 14. So you can see the difference. 12 ounces. 14. So this is really good for, for first thing, or I would take greens in this or something like that. Um, I, I use this for first thing. So this is the one I used this morning for first thing. Then as you saw, I used it for my ice to fill out my cup. Um, I will use it for bevy lid. Like I kind of will use it for, for the rest of the day, right? Like I rinse it out really good and then I'll use it for bevy later, or I might use it to take my greens or whatever. So I kind of use it the rest of the day. So this is the one that started it all. Um, I need to organize this a little bit better. Okay. I also have, this is a cork sickle, but I have this, and I'm, I don't even know why I'm showing this to you because it's going to ruin the surprise. But I bought this specifically to take on the cruise with me in December because Cinderella is the, the princess in the atrium of the Disney Wish of the ship. And so I thought it'd be super, super fun to have a Cinderella little cuppy while I'm on the Disney Wish. I will also take my Minnie Mouse one because Minnie is the captain of the Disney Wish. So I just thought it'd be really fun to, I don't, this is why, <laughs> because I, I these, this, these, this is how my brain works. Oh, I'm going on the Disney Wish. Cinderella is like the main princess, one of the main princesses in the atrium of the Wish, so I should have a Cinderella cup. Of course I should. Um, and then I'll take my mini one as well because Minnie's captain of the ship. Yeah. So this is Corksicle. So this is a snowflake. Have not used that yet. Okay. So um, this is what I call non-denominational, <laughs> non-seasonal. This just reminded me of the ocean. That's why I, I bought it. And then this, like this could, I love this one so much. I love this one so, 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 so much. Um, okay, then I, I, I forgot that I bought this. <laughs> um, they're either corksicle or swig. What do you mean by the other one, Denise? This one, this is corksicle. This is corksicle. Um, Amanda, did you see the Captain Marvel one that my husband got me for my birthday? He got me a, a Captain Marvel corksicle for my birthday. He was like, you are Captain Marvel, so you needed to have this. You're the best. You're the best. I'm going to get those out of there. I'm going to get this out of there. Well, just a little. Okay, so I do have this corksicle one too. Did I show you that one already? So I put right now I'm putting them in my drawer. I'm putting them in my drawer. So I have a drawer and they all they fit-ish. Okay, so there's that so here's the Christmas dogs. Well, my husband's not in charge of me, Sarah. My husband's not in charge of me or um, what I buy. So I, I, that always makes me laugh. People say, oh my gosh, my husband. I'm like, well, my husband's not in charge of me. I buy what I want. He didn't support my habit. I don't need someone to support my habit. Y'all, it's 2022. Okay, here we go. Well, this is not, I'm not a Puritan over here. And then this is the one I'm just going to use all day. So I used it to um, make my first thing in. I used it for ice. And then I'll just use this one all day. So that's what I have so far. I, 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 um, I want them to get some more. I want them to get some more. Amanda, here's my, here's my Captain Marvel. What does he drink out of? I'll show you what he drinks out of. Because listen, he could not be more boring. Hold on. I'm just putting this, these things down here, kind of out of the way. Um, hold, please.
this. This is what he makes his first thing in. <laughs> this is what he makes his first. He gets this boring little cup. This is what he makes his first thing in. This. He comes every morning. He comes in. He'll get one of these. He makes his first thing. This. Like, could this be more boring? This is what he makes his first thing in. I don't, I don't have words for that. I don't even understand. And then he puts his shake. This is also our shake bar. So I have our blend. He usually puts his shake in just one of my blender bottles. That's it. Or he puts it, I have, you know, larger thermos. I mean, yeah, he doesn't care. He does not care about what he drinks. Yeah, he drinks his first thing in that. Um, I mean, if I saw him start using my cuppies and my tumble, I'd be like, what are you doing? Back off. So we have, um, we have this. So I will tell you, this is my, so this is, how many ounces? Um, friendly. Hang on, I want to tell you how many ounces this is. Well, wants me to register 32. So this, I got these to do my, I have another one's in the dishwasher. Um, this is for my shake. So I've did, this is, this one and the other one is what I bought in Franklin, Tennessee. I bought this one and the other one in Franklin. And these are for my shake. So I might get a couple more of those because I really like having that for my shake. But what I usually use for my shakes are these. I'm, and these are just Shop Disney. Just go to Shop Disney and you'll get those. And I just didn't feel like waiting. I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like going over to World of Disney and looking and sometimes fighting the crowds. So I just ordered it and had it delivered. Um, okay, so that we've talked about natural disasters and cups this morning, I wanted to make sure that I told you about the link in my bio for the Swig discount. If you have not used that yet, go grab it. 15% um, off. Um, Beth was the leadership retreat, a body retreat. I don't know what that means. Do you mean like a coach retreat? No, I'm part of a really high level mastermind uh, of leaders, entrepreneurs, really from all over the country. And this is the second year that I've been a part of it. And we have two live retreats a year. So I missed yesterday to fly home, but I'm so glad that I did because they closed the airport. So that, that would have been bad to, that is, been, I don't like being stuck somewhere. I don't like being not in control of my travel, you know? So I got a lot of good information on the first day and Liz, who runs the mastermind, she recorded the second day thank goodness because I know they had a guest speaker she recorded it so she's gonna send those out thank goodness um, it was very kind of her to do so I'm excited about that so we meet twice a month and then we have two live in persons and it's just all about growing your businesses growing your businesses because everyone's in business different kinds of businesses um, really amazing businesses so just all kinds of different businesses and it's a really cool mastermind to be a part of because of the connections and the high level conversation and the entry point is pretty high and the expectation is that you are leveling up and you're doing it in a way that brings you joy. So I love it because then I get to bring that back to my team. Anything I learn, I get to bring back to my team. I get to just pour that in. So, okay, I'm going to get ready for my ride at 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for a ride at 7 a.m. And then right after that, I'm going to be doing day four of Healthy Obsession. Go get your Swig Life discount code and go order yourself some. And then we will, now that I'm kind of back and once this hurricane dies down and we're back into routine, um, we're going to designate a day next week. So Amanda, when did you order your stuff? Like I kind of want to think about what will be a good day, like next Thursday or something like that where I say, okay, everyone take a picture of yourself with your, what your swig tumbler, whatever you're drinking out of it. Um, I, I feel like Thursday would be, if you order today, you should probably get it by Thursday. Uh, I want to designate a day and then I want everyone to take your picture, 
tag me so I can gather them and I'm gonna make a cool like real collage of all of us drinking our Energizer or our first thing or here's the thing you can't be drinking wine out of it and be in the real okay uh, it has to be like first thing or energize or even a bevy so um, you can't be drinking alcohol and um, you're just gonna have to have some honor okay you're just gonna have to tell the truth and um, I'm gonna have to trust you that when you send me your picture or your video it's you drinking first thing or energize or bevy or something all right I'm gonna have to trust you have some honor Susie, yes, you need, no, you can get two. Susie, get two. Get the buffalo plaid and get the dogs, okay? And I'm going to keep looking around on the website to see if um, they have any other new designs. But go. Go get that discount code. Go order yourself some. Stay tuned for a day that I want everyone to tag me, and I'm going to make a fun little collage to my Inner Circle subscribers. We will have an Energize Live tomorrow morning. And if you are not doing Healthy Obsession and you wanna get in with me and message me, happy to help you get connected with that because it's really, it's really awesome. So it's really, it's really awesome. I'm sore, feels good. And yeah, let's have a, let's, let's stay safe today, shall we? Stay safe if you're riding out Hurricane Nicole can see now the sun's starting to come up so now I can really see the wind so I don't know what's n more anxiety provoking when you can see what's happening out there or when you can't I don't know I also am not really sure what I'm gonna do with my dogs because lady thought she needed to go outside today and then she went outside and she was like oh actually I really don't so we'll see what happens okay have an awesome Thursday and we will um, we will connect again later but if you're in my inner circle we will connect tomorrow and I will I'll send you a message today okay have an awesome Thursday.